Okay, we're going to um, have a little biochar and uh, boogie humus um, study today. I had I purchased one bag of the soil reef um, pre inoculated biochar. It's important that if you're going to buy, if you're not going to inoculate your own biochar, that you purchase one that's already been inoculated. And this is the only one um, that I was able to locate online. I have um, three other cubic yard, or two, three other cubic feet of biochar that I'm in the process of inoculating with um, worm castings and compost tea. But I want to start this um, experiment now. Um, Boogie humus is a very interesting product. If you watch uh, John Kohler from Growing Your Greens, Boogie humus is broken down wood chips. If you um, go to um, boogiebrew.net slash gyg, you can actually get a discount. I think it's actually called the um, the July special, where you can get boogie humus, um, boogie brew tea, and um, a few other things for like fifty or sixty dollars shipped. So what we're gonna do is spinach. Spinach does not does not re, um, respond to um, beneficial mycorrhiza. So the thought is. I don't know if you've seen John's um, past videos, but um, um, Chard and um, Kale also does not respond. And he had some really big killer um, chard, chard this year. And he thinks it's because of the beneficial fungus that he's been adding to the soil with, um, with I assume, boogie humus. So we're gonna, we have nine spinach plants. We're gonna plant three over here with both boogie brew and with biochar. We're gonna do three in the middle here with just boogie brew. And we're gonna do three with nothing. We're just gonna plant them and see what happens so we can get uh, a good test case. We're gonna to try to mix and match these so that there's a good match. And uh, so I'm gonna plant these and then I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, and so again, I dug a hole about as deep as the cup. So I'm going to dump this in. This is the biochar and the boogie brew. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I am then going to place this in here. And then I am going to backfill with the traditional dirt. This is um, a combination of compost, peat moss, um, perlite, vermiculite, um, there's all kinds of good stuff in here. Um, I've had pretty good luck with greens. This is, um, I put this in midsummer last year just to do greens. Um, that gives you an idea of the leaves. Give you an idea compared to my finger, the leaves are, you know, to my second, my second knuckle. To give you an idea of how much of the biochar I'm gonna use per, um, per hole, I am going to, with the Dixie cup, <laughs> use the science of filling up about half the cup. So this is a nine, this is a nine up tray. There's nine plants per tray. So by volume, the biochar should be about 50%. The other half I'm going to fill up with, with the, the boogie humus. So I'm gonna dig a hole, I'm gonna mix this in, I'm gonna put this around the plant and uh, we're gonna go from there. What I didn't show you in the first hole when I went back and did it is I added approximately three tablespoons of not John's 10, 10, 10, <laughs> but this is a five, three, four. Um, this is actually um, no animal byproducts. I was able to get this at um, Five Seasons Garden in Asheville. Um, I think this company is out of, out of uh, Pennsylvania. So I, I take it, mix up the dirt, mix up the area with the fertilizer. And that's going to be the only fertilizer I'm going to use for this plant for the next 30. On the items that are just using the um, boogie humus, I am going to use a little bit. I am only going to use a half a cup, just like I would with the biochar. I'm not going to um, taint the the demo by adding more of the boogie humus. So I'm going to use just that and add some fertilizer. And everything is watered in, so I will come out tomorrow and get some better pictures and post them online. But we have nine, nine spinach plants planted on uh, February 24th.
for 25th, 2014. We'll check back in a week and see how they're doing.